three, two, one. What's up, YouTube? It's Dean Charles Anthony II, back again with another photography video. Today is a special day. Uh, I'm really happy about today. It's such a special day. Um, we're going to do an unboxing. Um, here's my baby, the 5D Mark IV. Uh, it served me well over the last few years. It's Tamron 70 to 200 on it right now. Um, yeah, 70. Excuse me, not 70. 24 to 70 right now uh love this camera it's done great for weddings and everything like that um but in this time um, i felt it was appropriate for an upgrade um and this upgrade i'm really excited about um i just got a 1dx mark three uh which i'm super excited about definitely a big fan of the um the uh, 1dx mark ii uh, never actually used it but you know it was definitely a camera i was thinking about getting um i'm not personally ready excuse me to jump to the uh rf mounts so uh for right now really for the next one to two years it's probably just gonna be a better uh option for me to just stay with my ef mount lenses uh so i just uh, upgraded um to uh, 1dx mark three and i'm really excited to uh, show you this camera and we're about to begin with this unboxing oh and i do want to mention the reason why uh well, it's a couple of reasons why I haven't jumped to the RF mounts. Um, one, the real biggest reason is, um, one, the biggest reason is all over my back order and I don't feel like waiting. <laughs> That's the real thing and I'm um, ready to move forward with certain things. Um, yeah, so when the back orders are stopped, probably when there's just plenty of stop, it'll probably be when some Mark IIs comes out for uh, all the cameras, I'll probably switch over to the EF mount. I'm excuse me, RF mount. But right now, the EF mount still gets my job done. So about to move forward. Oh, boom. So here she is. This is the box for it. Actually, I need a knife or something. Something to open it because I didn't bring my keys up. I don't know, it might be easy to open. All right, so we're just gonna open this. Nail, that's why you keep on nail. So what comes in this box? So I ordered this directly from Canon. So yeah, hold on, put it. So I ordered this directly from Canon. So uh, let's look at this. Give me one second. Make this just a little wider. Yeah, so y'all can see me a little bit more. All right, so let's see what came in the box. Uh, so one thing came with the box is, da -da, see, I'm not even sure y'all can see this, uh, cause my light's right here. So y'all might not be able to see this, but this is a um, Extreme Pro. Um, it's a CF Express card, uh, 64 gig. I also per purchased a, um, which I don't know where I put the thing, but I purchased a 168 gig one, 128 gig one too. Um, card reader. This is a heavy card reader, <laughs> I guess, for all the transfer files. And here is the real baby. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, here she is. Mm -hmm. So excited for this one. 1DX Mark III, right here. Come with instruction manuals, product registration stuff. Put that in the box. Open this up. We got the strap. You gotta keep the straps. You know I got custom strap. I need to get me another one for this one. But one um, DX strap. What else is in here? The view the cover for the viewfinder. This is also my first camera, new camera. <laughs> so I, I just realized all my cameras have been used from this point. Um, so there's never been, I never actually seen this setup. Let's see, get this out of here. Oh, ooh, man, heavy. <laughs> Go ahead and pull everything up. Oh, uh, my uh, computer announces that. Y'all, yeah, this stuff is huge. <laughs> this is so much. This is literally the definition of a lot. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's get into this. We can zoom in a little bit more. 
boom, boom. Let's go to the 24. So here is the body. Ooh. Ooh. This big boy ain't playing. I already like it. It feels good in the hands. Um, I really like it. <laughs> the size of it. Yeah, this button even just feels new. Uh, yeah. I know goofy stuff, the button feels new. So it has already a lot of weight to it. It's, you can definitely see the size difference. So if you like, so this is the one, uh, this is the 5D Mark IV. This is the one DX, you just see the height difference off the get go. And yeah, even though with a lens, it's kind of comparable in weight. <laughs> yeah, so that's a pretty big body. Go ahead and put this on here. Let's see what is this is. This must be the battery charger. Which uh, I don't know how to use. Let me see. Let me see something real quick. I know from okay, so just so you know, like features of like 1DX is like right here you have when you turn to the side you still have the um, what is this? Trigger. It's kind of like a, a battery extension. But it's already there, which is pretty handy. I don't even know how to take the battery actually off. Out. Oh, not cool. Here is the charger, which I'm assuming just goes ahead and charges for two, which is dope. Good to already have. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there. See what it does. See what it do. Definitely secure. What is? I guess this is just a rubber hold. So I don't actually need this. Let's see what else? This is a lot of little stuff, though. This is a whole different type of packaging. Oh. Uh, I guess this is the charge, the cord to plug this up. But that also makes me think, what is that? Look at this plastic off. Here's the cord pre hole for this. So this goes right here. Where does this go? Oh, I guess this is just like general cords for like tether and stuff. Yeah. I'm not even sure how long this video is going to be. Three minutes right now. All right, yeah. Ugh, no. Things be falling. Yeah, I have no idea what this is for. Um, this is a USB C. Um, I guess an in and out for that. This is likely um, just the whole core. It's not how I think about it. Cause you see these little light loops right there. I'm not sure if it's gonna focus on it. Yeah. See those little, no, nah, I don't think it's focusing on it. Uh, 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 okay, we'll just leave it as is. Oh, cool yeah so this is just charger which is dope being charged too um i didn't know there was a law against like shipping individual batteries that you can't like ship them all at i uh, ship them quickly um from canon so i have another set another battery coming in for this but it won't be here for like three to seven days which sucks uh i'm spoiled by prime like the rest of the world but um just first feels it does definitely have more weight um to it than anything else I shot with, it does definitely feel sturdier. Like, like you can just kind of feel how sturdy it is. Like it's just kind of, yeah, it's kind of hard to describe. It's just sturdy. Like, you no, know, it feels like a brick. And I'm excited. All right, cool. All right, open up this CF Express. Exclusive value saying it's free download one year screw. Uh, Rescue Pro Deluxe Recovery Software. Oh, you can get some free recovery software. That's always nice. Make sure I don't lose this piece of paper. Because you know I will. Alright, cool. Taking this out. Putting this in. 
Y'all, and this this card, I'm just looking at this, this card. It's so thick. It's so much thicker than a... Let me see. Do I have one in here? No, I don't have one in here. This is like one of those uh, adapters for micro, <laughs> uh, micro SDs to SD. But, like, you just see, like, the difference in the thickness of this. Like, dog. Like, this is, like, significantly weighs, like, two and a half of these. Just add it to the weight. Let me I know how to car slide. Oh, that's oh. So, cause cool thing. So, like most car slots of, the, of like my like I'm shooting right now on the 6D Mark II. This is the 5D Mark IV. You see how it opens up to the side. This one opens up in the back. As you may see, you may not be able to see, but it opens up in the back right here. See the express card. Boom. So look at this card reader too. I'm so excited, y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell. It's like candy store. Who doesn't love gear? Alright. Another USB-C connector for this. And this, it feels like a mouse. It's as heavy as a mouse, y'all. This card reader. But, you know, uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, bet. So like, yeah, so card reader, it's pretty thick. Yeah, this is my <laughs> Apple Magic Mouse, <laughs> and this is the card reader. They're nearly the exact same size. That is hilarious to me. All right, cool. All right, just one more thing I got to do before it's time. Got to put a lens on. Um, give me one second. Where did I put my other lens? Not going to use one back there. Yeah, to match this big boy, I also got the 70 to 200 Mark III. Or is it called Mark III's? It might just be called III. Uh, Shout out. I guess because this is like my first time buying new gear. Oh, or getting to new gear. Uh, it's just like this, this wrapping is ridiculous. Like, I love it. It's just, everything is well packaged. Like, just see this thing? Ooh, that got some weight to it. That's a lot of weight. <laughs> this thing is heavier than my camera. <laughs> so, my old 70 to 200, even for comparison. Uh, this is the Tamron 70 to 200, the VC. Um, it's the original VC model. This is... The <laughs> This weight is definitely, yeah, this is a much heavier uh, lens. Ooh, y'all, y'all pray for my shoulders. Pray for my back. Uh. This lens hood is even heavier than this. But this thing is gorgeous, y'all. Uh. Yeah, it's definitely sturdier than the Tamron. Yeah. Ooh, look at that glass. Look at that glass. It just glistens. All right. Let's get this on. And so, um, most of my gear, uh, my professional gear has been Tamron gear up until like these very moments. So I'll still be using the Tamron. Come on now. Ooh. Y'all. <laughs> this thing is the real deal heavy. Let me see. Hopefully there's actually power in that battery. I don't even know how to cut it on. Give me one second, y'all. Bear with me. Is this how you cut it on? That is not how you cut it on. How do I cut this on? 
I know someone's gonna be in the comments like, how you don't know how to cut on your camera? Is it? That's not it. Cause it used to normally like the power dial or like the dial for like, for most cameras is right here. Y'all, this is heavy. No joke heavy. But where is the power? All right, I'm gonna pause when I figure out how to cut this on. It could also be that I just need to charge the battery. That could literally just be the situation and I've already cut, this, cut it on. But I'm not sure. So I will be right back. Okay, YouTube, we are back after this unboxing. So I did figure out what was going on. I wasn't crazy. It was literally, um, the battery was completely dead. So um, it is full now. So I am pulling this out. Let's see what this is gonna look like. Just so you know, um, it has this, like this cover um, for like when your battery's not in. I guess to keep dust and stuff out, which is dope. Yeah, man, I'm excited. Gotta hit that shutter one good time. So we're gonna put this in here. Batteries in. This is the first cut on. Oh, wait a second. So right now it's making me uh, set up the date and time. So this is, what, a 2020. So we're gonna go 10. What time is it? Uh, what is this, not the 8th, it's the 7th. See what time it is. My watch is just for decoration. <laughs> 2 p.m. All right. And you can check the zone. New York, because I'm in Atlanta. And we're gonna hit okay with this. And so everything is on. So I'm taking, this is the first. Oh, that's snappy. First picture with the 1DX Mark III. So let me see, Let's see what this does. Oh yeah, that's nice. Look at this real quick. Yeah, that's clean though. Let me see. My ISO is at, I think I'm on auto everything. I'm gonna have to get used to these buttons. It's a whole lot different from what I'm used to. Yeah, that's how I'm in manual. Let's crank this shot, let's be right here. I'll crank this all the way down. To get one good shot of this screen. Before, let's go to ISO. No, that's where my, I'm gonna have to get used to these buttons too. Okay, cool. So we're just gonna do one shot right there. Let's go to 270. Let's go all the way to 200. That's cool. All right, well, this was the unboxing. My beautiful uh, 1DX Mark III. Can't wait to get used to it. Um, yeah, I'm excited to use this for the first time. Like, yeah. Thank you.